Coming to you live in studio, it's Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. And now, back from having fish and chips with the Queen of England, it's the host you love to love, the host who loves to grub, the host you wish you could share a meal with while surrounded by singing turtle doves, it's Bruce Buckingham. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're far too kind. It's great to be back with my favorite studio audience. But enough of the dilly-dally, eh? Let's just dive right in. On today's show, we have one of Jesus' disciples and a centurion, our commander of the Roman army, joining us today. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got Peter the Disciple and Cornelius the Commander coming to dinner. Now, these are two very faithful men, but from different countries. So it's making me wonder, what's God trying to do here? He's definitely doing something different. So to figure it out, let's bring out our first guest, Cornelius the Commander. Cornelius, Cornelius, welcome to the show. Now, right to the nitty gritty. You were praying one afternoon and God gave you a vision and an angel appeared to you, telling you to find a man named Peter. It's amazing, and just to set the record straight, you're from a different country. You're not Jewish, are you? Fascinating. Why would God ask you to find Peter, a Jewish man, when it was against the law for a Jew to gather with someone from a different country? Well, let's bring out Peter, the disciple. Peter, Peter, it's a pleasure and an honor to have you on my show. So, Peter, let me get this straight. God gave you a vision as well? What did you see? What an amazing vision. Fans of my show know that I'm always hungry. And that's why I've asked my favorite French chef, Baker Aubonpont, to bring us a special meal. <sighs> bonjour, bonjour. Baker Aubonpont, what have you prepared for us today? A fine plate, full of all kinds of animals and reptiles and birds of the air. Wait a minute, is that a Jew associating with someone of a different nation? <laughs> Incredible! All of your life you have stayed away from certain foods and peoples who were not Jewish. But now, God is doing something different. It seems that God has made it clear that Jesus is for everyone. Wee oui, wee, oui. you're right. This is good, and it is pleasing in the sight of God, our Savior, who desires all people to be saved and to come to know the truth. God loves all people. Well, if the Lord has reconciled you two, then let nothing interrupt it. Especially if it is over a baker en bon pain speciality. Mm. Let's see. Uh -huh. Fascinating. Well, I think it's time to chow down our meal. We must go now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, until next time. I got a song that